we consider the binomial distribution with an example. 60% of people pass the driving test on the first try. So whenever there is a test, 60% will pass the test the first time. A group of 30 individuals who have taken the driver's exam is randomly selected. Calculate the probability that first part, 5 pass the exam. And for us to be able to do that, we start by giving the probability mass function. It's called a probability mass function for the binomial distribution, PMF, which is given by probability of x is equals to x is equals n combination x, px, q raised power n minus x. So in this example that we have, the first thing is that we are told n is 30. And the probability is 60%, so the q is equals to 0 0.4. Why do we say that? Because we know that p plus q is equals to 1. So if we are told 5 pass the exam, we are interested in getting probability that x is equals to 5. So whenever there is n, I put 30, and x I put 5. And uh, this is 0 0.6 to power 5, 0 0.4 to power 30 minus 5. And that's what we have. And uh, that's the computations that you are, you are supposed to do. So this, without doing all the maths, is 30 plus factorial over 25 factorial, 5 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 5, 0 0.4 to power 25. Probability is very low, 1.2476 times 10 raised to power negative 6. So probability that x is equals to 30 is 30 factorial, 30 factorial, 0 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 30 and 0 0.4 to power 0. It's 2.211 times 10 raised to power negative 7. That's the probability that all the 30 will pass the exam. So at most to pass the exam is probability x is equals less than or equals to 2. The probability of at most to pass the exam is probability of x less than or equals to 2. So it's probability of x is equals to 0 plus probability of x is equals to 1 plus probability of x is equals to 2. And this can be written as 30 factorial, 0 factorial, 30 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 0, 0 0.4 to power 30, plus 30 factorial, 1 factorial, 29 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 1, 0 0.4 to power 29, and then the third one will be equals to plus 30 factorial, 2 factorial, 28 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 2, 0 0.4 to power 28. So when we compute all that and we put them together, that gives us a probability. The probability that at most 2 will pass the exam will be given by 1.183 times 10 is to power negative 9. So it will be probability of x greater than or equals to 3, which will be probability of x is equals to 3 plus probability of x is equals to 4, all the way until probability of x is equals to 30. And this is the same as 1 minus probability of x is equals to 0 plus probability of x is equals to 1 plus probability of x is equals to 2. And so that's what we have as the uh, probabilities. And this is the same as 1 minus 1.183 times 10 raised to negative 9. And uh, this is a probability of 0 0.999, which is approximately equals to 1. There's a 100% chance that at least 3 people, because we are told 60%, uh, and already 60% of that is 18. So that's why the probability is very high that at least 3 will pass the exam. Second example, we are told that x is approximately binomial. This is our p and this is our n. Therefore, automatically our q is 0 
Then we are told to find probability of x is equals to 2, which is 6 factorial, 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 0 0.7 to power 2, 0 0.3 to power 4. And that gives me 0 0.0595. Expected of x, which is n times p, which is 6 times 0 0.7 which is given by 4.2 and see the variance of x is npq which is 6 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 and that gives me 1.26 so given the value of x and then you are given the p of x or sometimes we use the f of x and so since n is 4 n is equals to 4 so x will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'll give you the probabilities and I'll show you how to calculate them. So one thing in common is this plus this plus this plus this plus this should be equals to 1. So if you sum all the probabilities, it should always be equals to 1. Now how do we get them? The only value that is changing is x. The p remains and the q remains. So the first one is probability of x is equals to 0, which is uh, 4 factorial, 0 factorial, 4 factorial, 0 0.6 raised to power 0, and 0 0.4 raised to power 4. And if you do that, 0 0.4 raised to power 4 should give you 0 0.0256. 0 0.0256. The second one is probability of x is equals to 1. And that should give us 0 0.1536. How do we get that? It's 4 factorial, 1 factorial, 3 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 1, 0 0.4 to power 3. And then the next one will be probability of x is equals to 2. And this should give us 0 0.3456, which is 4 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. 0 0.6 squared and 0 0.4 squared and that should give us that value and then the next value uh, which is x is equals to 3 probability of x is equals to 3 which is 0 0.3456 is 4 factorial 3 factorial 1 factorial 0 0.6 to power 3 0 0.4 to power 1 and then finally, probability of x is equals to 4, which is 0 0.1296, is 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 0 factorial, 0 0.6 to power 4, 0 0.4 to power 0. So that is how you would go about calculating the probabilities for binomial distribution. Please do subscribe. Thank you.